Hello and welcome to the telescope. Every week we'll bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. Today we're focusing on a third gen battery swap station launched on Neo Day 2022. As predicted, it has a capacity of 21 batteries. It is bigger, faster, but during the launch video, there is one moment where I went, well, let's just play the video. So the lady is driving the ET7 into the station. Now here comes the moment I'm talking about. She gets out of the car. I mean, why is she getting out of the car? Because in the Gen 2 battery swap station, being able to stay in the car during the swap has always been billed as a massive advantage. Then why in the hero promotional video of this Gen 3 station, the driver is getting out of the car again? Here's what I think. What it really showed in this video is the ability to complete a battery swap without any human supervision, be it the swap agent or the driver. In the Gen 1 battery swap station, you need two people to finish a swap. One driver to back the vehicle into the station and one service agent to complete the swap technically. In a Gen 2, you need one person to finish a swap. The driver needs to be in the car while the car automatically reverses the car into position. In many of the Gen 2 stations, service agent is no longer needed. What it shows here in Gen 3 is that no human supervision is needed to finish a swap. The car only needs to be in a certain area around the station. And you can go off, buy a snack, go to the restroom. The car, when summoned, will drive itself into the station, finish the swap and park itself back. Hence, it's called summon for power swap. So it's not about you need to get out of the car. It's about that you can get out of the car. I think the reality is most people will stay in the car during the swap, even in a Gen 3 stations. But to make this leap in ability, the sensors and the computing power in the Gen 3 stations have been beefed up significantly. It now has two LiDARs, yes, the LiDAR on top of every Neo NT2 cars, and two NVIDIA O-Ring chips for a battery swap station. It needs to be beefed up to the point it can reliably detect vehicle positions day or night, rain or shine, without any human supervision. Now I know what you're thinking. The end game or the holy grail of the battery swap is undoubtedly completely unmanned battery swap. So the idea is you'll park your car at the end of the day, you go to sleep and the car drives itself to the nearest battery swap station, do the swap and park yourself back into your original spot. This summon for battery swap is definitely not that, but is a tiny but necessary step towards that. Another not so tiny step showed on Neo Day 2022 is power swap pilot for highway. This is combining the autonomous driving capabilities on the car, the car to station communication to perform an automatic battery swap on the highway. So now the car not only just swaps the battery by itself, but also drives itself in and from the station. And this is not just a one-time technical demonstration. It has a timeline. When pressed by journalists in a post Neo Day interviews, Neo co-founder Qing Li Hong said this will become a reality in Q2 2023 in some pilot stations. And this is not a Gen 3 exclusive function. Any existing Gen 2 station should all be able to do this. There is a potentially hugely important part of the Gen 3 station, but I need to dig deeper to give you guys a proper read on this, is this bi-directional high power charging module. Wording on this is extremely concise. It improves battery swap charging efficiency and helps the grid hold up in both peak and off hours. This feature doesn't even make it to the English version of the press release. But I know how much does this mean to Neo Power and to Shen Fei, the VP of Power Management at Neo. His background before joining Neo is from the grid, so he always looked at EV as not just a car, but a tiny reservoir of power. And when you combine the 13 batteries in the Gen 2 battery swap station and the 21 batteries in Gen 3, that is a no longer tiny but quite potent virtual power plant. But, as I said, I need to do a bit more digging on this before I can give any opinions. So that is an analysis on a Gen 3 battery swap station launched on Neo Day 2022. If you like this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.